According to an article published on LinkedIn by Skillfield, Uber lost tens of millions of dollars due to having to give compensation to underpaid drivers back in 2017. The reason for this was an overcalculation of the commission cut in its accounting system. An error in their data cost Uber around $900 per driver. Do you know how many Uber drivers there were in 2017? Well, according to Rideshare Guy, there were around 2 million. That's almost one and a half billion dollars. That's why, for the sake of your organization, you can't afford to miss spotting errors. You need to safeguard the quality of your data and its interpretation continually. In this video, we're gonna talk about data wrangling and the steps you must take for the sake of your company's reputation and probably yours too. So let's get into it. Data wrangling is a group of processes that turns raw data into organized and usable data. There are typically six steps involved in data wrangling. Discovery, structuring, cleaning, enriching, verifying or validation, and publishing. <laughs> Allow me to explain each of them. Step one, discovering. In this step, the idea is to get familiar with the data that you have, which you truly need, and what you want to do with it. Now let's say you're a teenager. This is the first time you've got the house to yourself. You want your parents to trust you with more stuff. Discovering would be like getting home after school and realizing that your house definitely needs a tidy up session. You take all the data you thought you would need, AKA your house, and you see what you can do with it. You may already find patterns and such in the discovery process, but you're also gonna find data or things that you won't need, and also data that requires processing. What you see and establish here as the project's plan will determine what will happen in the following steps. So you must be careful about what you determine here. Step two, structuring. In structuring, you give the data a general structure so it's easier to navigate and understand even if it's not perfectly clean yet. Structuring would be like separating the clean, still usable, and dirty clothing from that giant pile in the corner of your room that you've been feeding for weeks. Or like taking the dirty plates on your desk to the sink so everything looks slightly less disgusting. By structuring, you can already find valuable information and begin to discard what might not be that useful. Step three, cleaning. After giving it structure, you'll need to clean your data. In this step, you'll apply algorithms to look for errors and try to eliminate as many as possible, like fixing a crooked picture, flipping that book that was upside down on the shelf, or taking out that dirty sock that found its way into the clean clothing when you know the other one is already in the washing machine. Data-wise, this can be deleting empty cells or rows, standardizing inputs, making corrections, removing duplicates, and tackling outliers. Some tasks in this step can be automated using Python or R, but what is done explicitly in this part of the process is gonna depend heavily on your company and the field you're working for. A common misconception is that data wrangling and data cleaning are the same. But as you can see, data cleaning is only one step of the data wrangling process. There are crucial steps before and after cleaning your data making data wrangling a broader term. Step four, enriching. If at any point you feel you're short on valuable data, this is exactly the step to fix that. When enriching your data, you will decide if you need even more data for your project. If so, you can add values from other data assets to complete your data. If you really want to impress your parents, you might like to buy flowers in the living room, maybe even some delivery food. But you must remember to discover structure, and clean that new data too. Step five, validation. Before publishing comes validation. This is when you verify the quality of your final data, fixing everything that needs to be fixed and having it ready to be analyzed. This job will require manual and automated processes and will likely lead you to repeat any of the previous steps as many times as needed to improve the quality, consistency, accuracy, security, and authenticity of the data as much as possible. Step six, publishing. 
Finally, you publish your Wrangle data. In this final step, you make the data available for other company members so the team that needs it can develop insights, create reports, and much more with the highest quality, thanks to data wrangling. Now, your parents are coming back anytime and you won't have anything to worry about. A study by Crowdflower found that around 60% of data science's time is spent cleaning and organizing data. So remember always to consider the objective of the wrangling and the project before you dive into it. Truly understanding its needs will help you spend the least amount of time possible without risking the quality of the outcome. When starting your data wrangling process, remember to think about who this data is going to, how they will use it, and what they might need even if they don't explicitly state it. This will give them additional information that can be useful for everyone involved in the project. Although the process of wrangling data may seem daunting, there are some specific tools that can help you and assist in the process. These tools can be meant for a particular part of the process. Some can help collect more data for enrichment, for example, or provide an all-in-one solution for beginners or experts to accelerate the process. But use these tools with caution. Choose wisely which and when to use them since they may not always be the most effective in helping you get the job done. Data wrangling is crucial to guarantee an organization's top performance and decision-making. Having that in mind is critical to making the most out of it. I hope this video helped you understand the importance and basic steps of data wrangling to improve the quality of the data you work with and your performance along with it. If you like this video, click that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos about data, tech, productivity, and education. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.